Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. Today we're talking about the Armada Declivity 88C. Uh, the Declivity line came about a few years ago and really marked a change for Armada. This is not the first line of directional skis that they've ever made, but definitely the best. And I think they're slowly turning some heads and people are kind of coming around to the idea that a brand like Armada is making really good directional skis. Um, I think this 88C is, well, probably is getting overlooked even more than the other models. I think what happens a lot of the time for ski consumers is we look at the TI version. So in the declivity line, we've got 82 TI, 92 TI, 102 TI, and then beyond. And it kind of makes this ski at 88C just feel a little lost, or at least a little different, which is kind of a bummer because this ski is awesome. Um, it's become one of our like favorite kind of all-mountain off-piste style skis. If you really like skiing moguls, stuff like that, this is a really, really, really good ski. So it's got the same Karuba core as all of the Declivity skis. That wood is pretty light. It's also very sustainable. It's a great material for ski construction. And then this ski is a little different. Instead of that articulated tightenal banding found in the TI models, this uses carbon reinforcements. So that makes it a little bit lighter. It also gives it just different properties as a ski. So instead of more vibration damping, this ski gets more energy. So the snap back from the flex pattern is just a little quicker than you would get in those TI models. And you could probably tell flexing it, this is still a pretty darn stiff ski. So that's one thing about it that I think people don't really fully understand is just because it's got a different title, just because it uses carbon, not metal, does not make it less ski. It just makes it different. So I wanted to start there. Um, shape is pretty straightforward for a ski like this, 88 underfoot, mostly camber. We do get a little bit of rocker up here in the tip, even less rocker back there in the tail. Um, and I thought it would be interesting to touch on turn radius too in this ski. We got 17.2 and this is the 176 centimeter length. So a nice just kind of middle of the road, medium turn radius, which is really, really good for a ski like this that's designed to be versatile. So when it comes to performance, you know, I do think if you skied this ski back to back with a Declivity 92 Ti, you would notice better carving performance from the 92 Ti. That typically is what happens in our testing. Skiers find that ski very, very strong. This ski doesn't have quite the same torsional stiffness or maybe, maybe it comes through more and it's vibration damping, but this ski is very, very quick and very agile and very responsive to skier input. So when you're skiing stuff like moguls, there are kind of more benefits to this ski than those TI models. We are just under 1700 grams in this length, which is pretty darn impressive for a ski that really is that stiff and performs at such a high level. So that's kind of adding to its it's mogul and off-piste prowess as well. Um, and I've used that term moguls a lot in this video so far, and I do think it's a great example of how this likes to be skied and the terrain that it really excels in. But another way to think about it is if you just like making shorter turns. So if you enjoy making like quick skidded short turns kind of on the side of the trail, if that's your skiing style, I can pretty much guarantee that you're going to love this ski. Um, Bob, who is in a lot of our content, he is a skier that has grown very, very fond of this ski. And really among our company, he was one of the first people to be like, well, whoa, hold on. What's going on over here? Where a lot of us were kind of immediately gravitating more to those TI models. So it's a really, really good ski. I hope more people consider it. I will say that I think Armada kind of nailed the graphics for 2024. I think these, these are the best looking Declivity 88Cs that we've ever had. And I think the entire Declivity line is, is the best they've ever looked. So pretty cool, kind of superficial, but if that's what it takes for more people to consider them, then 
it's fine with me. So that's it. That's the Armada Declivity 88C. Let us know if you have any questions about it, and we will see you out there on the slopes.